guys hey this camera is not showing what i wanted to show hold on uh -huh. okay wait wait we can back small uh-huh yes now the packaging is very packaged this video is going to be quite different um i'm going to be talking about something that's very very dear and close to my heart um when I first created a YouTube channel, I told you guys in the beginning that I wanted this channel to be something where we can learn and grow from each other. Um, YouTube YouTube is fun. Like People come on here, they watch their favorite beauty gurus do their thing. They watch you know, lookbooks and all kinds of stuff. But sometimes I feel like we need a little bit more educational videos. Um, I know personally, I don't know if you guys ever feel this way but sometimes I feel like when I go through stuff I feel like I'm the only one going through it and sometimes it's nice to hear other people's um, stories and it's nice to see that um, maybe your favorite beauty guru goes through the same things that you're going through and you just never knew because all you see is um, the lookbooks and the makeup and all that stuff not that there's anything wrong with that because I absolutely love that stuff but um I just wanted to share my personal experience with this topic and just if there's anyone out there who is going through this and um, you have found a solution please let me know below because mine is still an ongoing battle um, but yeah and if you do know people who are going through this um, do be the support system that they need because I think a lot of people are really embarrassed to talk about this which I understand so um, let's go ahead and start talking because um, I'm already talking you guys know let's, I'm um, always talking what but I wanted to talk to you guys today about is endometriosis uh, I'm not gonna give you guys the full medical term and meaning of it because you just wouldn't understand it so I'm just going to explain it to you guys the way that it impacts me and the endometriosis for me um, for the women who suffer from endometriosis basically it means that um, every month during their period, it basically feels like you have someone sitting on your abdomen stabbing you with a knife constantly. Like it is such a sharp pain. Um, I really can't explain the pain or the feeling, but it is the worst feeling. And I always say I do not wish it on my worst enemy because the pain is indescribable. Um, it is so so painful like I haven't said that enough but it is so painful and basically with endometriosis there are so many side effects so many side effects one of them one of the biggest ones being um, infertility which is why I really wanted to come and make this video because if you're like me and you're someone who just loves kids and you want to have kids in the future then infertility is the last thing you want anyone telling you and so which is why I think that um, it's important for us to empower each other to educate each other and for me I have been battling with endometriosis since I was 16 or 17 so since I've had my period and the way it first started was my periods would just be painful like I just have the worst periods and um, some people's periods come and it's like a breeze and they're able to do stuff but when I'm on my period I have to call in sick at work I cannot go to work I spend the whole day in bed I vomit people actually think I'm pregnant when I'm on my period but I'm not I vomit and with endometriosis like you're in so much pain it's literally pushing on your bowels that you end up having bowel movements because you're in pain um yeah like there have been times where I just lay on the floor and I'm just like rolling like it is it's hell I don't know what hell feels like because I've never been there but I'm sure that endometriosis is kind of like an aspect of hell to be because it hurts so bad you guys recently I've seen a few people talk about it which I'm really excited about because now I don't feel so alone but like I said if you are battling this and you know someone who's battling it then it's important to talk about it discuss it you know educate one another um basically a little background on endometriosis my experience is since I've been since I was 16 or 17 when I have when it's time for my period 
I literally go to the emergency at least once. I, yeah, it's that bad that I have to go to the ER. And what they end up doing is putting me on IV to kind of help with the pain and all that stuff. So it's super serious, you guys. And also, adding to endometriosis, like that's not enough. I also have cysts on my ovaries. Um, my OBGYN told me that endometriosis can be a cause of that. Um, I have cysts on my ovaries and basically a lot of women do have cysts on their ovaries. Some women have little bitty cysts that don't bother them. Some women have big cysts that come and they go with birth control, with the help of birth control. And some women like me who are so fortunate, yes, so ever fortunate, we have the big ass cysts that sit on your ovaries and then they rupture. Now, your body is meant to be a, it's meant to protect you. It's meant to be a defense me mechanism. So, when something goes wrong in your body, your body will let you know. So, when my cyst rupture, um, it ruptures and all the fluid comes out and sometimes blood gets, you know, excreted. So, if there is blood anywhere in your body that it's not supposed to be in, your body will let you know. And the way it lets you know is by hurting you like hell. Like, it is just the sharpest pain in your lower abdomen region. So, my cysts come and they rupture. But because I have endometriosis, when my cyst ruptures, I can't tell because I automatically think, oh my god, uh, it's my period again because it hurts so, just as bad. Recently, um, I actually went to the emergency because I just got out of my period and obviously I went through the whole cycle again and um, I was prescribed some birth control pills by the ER doctor and I just wanted to share these pills with you guys. Um, I have them here. Um, the pills I was prescribed are birth control pills and you guys, when I say some doctors are stupid as hell, I mean they are stupid. What are these pills called? These pills are called, where is it? Um, what is it? Seasonique. These pills are called Seasonique and it's a birth control pill packet. It looks like this. Basically, this pill, this doctor prescribed this pills um, saying that it will stop my period for three months. That sounds good at the time because my endometriosis, obviously endometriosis is, is attached with your period. The problem with this pills is, yes it stops my period, but it does not fix the problem. So that's why I really wanted, that's another reason I wanted to make this video because some doctors prescribe you birth control pills and you really have to be careful as to the pills that you're taking. Um, when I purchased this pills, my mom and I, we came home, my dad saw it, he read it, he was like, I don't, see, I'm dropping the pills because that's so useless. My dad was like, I don't know how I feel about this pills, um, let's call your mom's friend that's a doctor. And we called her and she was like, hell no, do not take those pills because, yes, they stop your period for three months, but let's say you get to a point in the future where you're ready for kids. These pills are hormones. All birth control pills are hormones. The ER doctor, the stupid doctor said they're not hormones. Of course they're hormones. They're birth control pills. So let's say you get to a point in the future where you want to have kids. After taking these hormones for three months and after not having a period for three months, God forbid you can end up having difficulties. And women who have problems getting pregnant tend to get depressed and then all of a sudden you start feeling depressed because you're like, oh my god, I've been trying for so long to get pregnant, not knowing that the birth control pills that you've been taking all along could have had an effect on you. So the seasonic birth control pills, I will not be taking because it might stop my period for three months, but it does not fix my problem. And what I need is a solution to my endometriosis. So ladies, if you have been prescribed birth control pills, be careful as to the pills that you're taking. It is important. Anything you ingest into your body is extremely important. Um, you do not want to take anything that's going to hinder your future, especially if you do want kids. Birth control pills are hormones, guys. Um, as women, we already have enough estrogen that adding extra hormones can 
either be a good or a bad thing and a lot of birth control pills unfortunately are associated with cancer so do be careful as to the pills that you're taking and also do make sure that you do go to like regular visits with your OBGYN like your OBGYN should be your homie like you guys should be tight as hell like he needs to be the number one person that you go to when you know when you're just feeling like oh my god like something is wrong with my body also, I was also prescribed um, other pills, and this is another birth control. Y'all, I have had everything done, and this birth control is Tricera. I have used it already. Why am I dropping everything? Oh, God. Um, why? But um, these did work for me. Basically, um, you still end up having periods, but your periods just aren't as heavy because with endometriosis, you guys... <laughs> I did change my tampon at like like five six times like my flow is so heavy guys if there's any guys watching this video I'm sorry I might be grossing you out right now you might want to click out or you can stay because maybe you have a girlfriend who goes through these pains so maybe um, watching this video you can better understand what they're going through and you can help them but um, I'm sorry if I'm grossing you guys but it needs to be talked about but anyway, yeah, so the Tricera basically makes your, um, you, you have spotting, you know, just like any regular birth control. But it made my period not as painful and it actually worked. But because it was only prescribed for one month, um, by the time my next cycle came along, I, I had to go to the ER. And that's when the doctor prescribed the Sinopril that I dropped. endometriosis is something that it's very serious. And... Like I said, I just feel like it's not talked about enough. And when it comes to birth control, just be careful what you're taking. Um, I personally do not believe in birth control. Like, because I don't believe in birth control. It just It has way too many side effects. And also, um, yeah, like if I want to have kids in the future, I don't want anything that's going to ruin my chances. But if you are on birth control, just be careful as to what you're taking. Um, it was really important for me to make this video because this is something that I've had since I was 16 or 17, 16 years old. And it is the worst pain. Like I've said, you guys, it is the worst pain ever. And I don't want, I do not wish it on my worst enemy. I don't want any of you guys feeling like you're alone. If you are suffering from this, then I don't want you guys feeling like you're alone. Um, this is something that's very common. A lot of women do have it. And like I said in the beginning, some women don't even know what they're suffering from. So that's why I think that it's important to discuss it. It's important to empower each other. It's important to just have, know that you're not alone, that there's other people that do have what you're going through. Um, so yeah. And guys, something else that I wanted to say before I forget. Um, as women, as women, we tend to be superheroes. We all have our lives you know we're all busy with our lives we all have school you some of you have kids some of you have so many responsibilities that you have to do and sometimes you forget to take care of yourself and I just wanted to make this video and I just wanted to remind you guys that without you everything else around you wouldn't work so it's important to take that 30 minutes to even call your doctor and make a and make a doctor's appointment. If 30 minutes is what's going to save you the rest of your life, if 30 minutes is what's going to save you, then why not do it? Because, you know, if you're not going to, you want to be here for your kids. You want to be here for your family. You want to be here to see everything work the way that you've worked so hard to do. I mean, yes, we're superheroes. Yes, we try to do everything. But if that 30 minutes is what's going to fix your problem or possibly save your life then why not do it taking that 30 minutes to just go to the doctor and get fixed or find a solution to your problem please do it and please do it because without the women in our lives and without us i mean everything will pretty much just just be disastrous so i love you guys and i want you guys to be well so do take care of yourself and do make sure that you are best friends with your OBGYN because they're the only ones that can really help you. And um, yeah, and I do hope that there can be future cures to endometriosis. So far, the only cure that I've heard is to get pregnant, but <laughs> I am not ready to have children right now. Um, 
so hopefully there will be more cures um like i said i do see a specialist here in vancouver and um they have just basically been trying to help me and to monitor my pain and all that i stuff. don't know if if nothing at all i do hope that what you guys get from this video is talk be honest with your doctors that's something else be honest with your doctors because some doctors are so foolish like I'm sorry I work with a lot of doctors but some doctors are so foolish like if you're not honest with them and if you don't tell them your symptoms and if you don't tell them like these are pains and how you feel when you're going through these things they will give you rubbish medication and then two weeks later you're back in the same boat that you were in the beginning so you have to be honest with your doctors if you're going to get well I know it can be super embarrassing no one wants to tell their doctors that they're bleeding like like crazy no one wants to tell their doctors Okay, so sorry, I really need to figure out my camera, like, I hate, it just dies, like, I could be talking and then, I hate that shit. But anyway, like I was saying, just be honest with yourselves and be honest with your doctors so that they can help you guys and just, um, I even lost my train of thoughts, but, um, yeah, just be honest, because they're the only ones that can help you, and if you really want to fix your problem, then you have to be honest, like, because some doctors, it doesn't register in their head. Sometimes, honestly, I know this is bad, but it's it's better to be over dramatic with your problems so that they understand how serious you are, than to just be like, oh, only sometimes, and eh, uh-uh, if you tell them all the time, I'm in pain, like, that's when they actually take your shit seriously, so... Yeah, I just really wanted to come and make this video because, like I said, it's something that I've been dealing with for so long. And I know I'm not the only one, so let's just be there for each other because sometimes I just feel like I'm an alien who has all these issues and I feel like no one else goes through these problems but me. But, um, yeah, so if you guys know anyone that's going through that and if you've had solutions other than getting pregnant because... Me not ready for children at all. So other than getting pregnant, any other solutions that have been there for you guys, um, that have helped you guys, do comment below and let me know. Um, and I hope this video was helpful. I I do want to know your experiences with endometriosis if you do suffer from it, and if you do know someone who suffers from it, from from it. If you do know someone who suffers from it, um, do let me know. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and. Stay away from all these nonsense drugs. Stay away. Stay away. I beg. I love you guys. Bye.